What's up YouTube and welcome back to Fuzzy Motion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Today we're going to try our best to get a run under 35 minutes with Isaac. 3, 2, 1, go! Alright. Oh, Basement XL. We need keys in a bad way. So, let's go ahead and get them. I haven't been flexing my Isaac muscles lately. I've been focusing on some other things, some other pet projects of my- ooh, uh, Some other projects of mine that have been in the works. Um, so unfortunately, hopefully my Isaac muscles haven't atrophied at all. And uh, I still know how to play this game. So, uh, you know, there is that to be seen, I guess you could say. Hopefully this- chest has a key in it. It does not. It has a pill. Uh, for fear of that becoming, I don't know, like a bad trip or a health down or possibly even a tears down, let's just stay away from it. And of course, they have to start by the fire, which automatically makes them stronger and it's going to make this room a bigger bitch than it already is. Um, okay. Wow, they're fast. Let's just take care of the fire. Oh, no, you know what? I mean... And the fire could have destroyed that spider a little bit, I don't know. So, there we go, another scent. This cursed room looks interesting. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. More of the same pill. Okay, this could be really awesome or really bad. Uh, it's pretty fly times three. So we basically have a full suite of orbitals right off the rip. Uh, I'm very happy to have found that. That makes me super glad to have taken the chance. If there weren't three of them, I probably would, wouldn't have decided to take it, but, uh, you know, who dares wins? Let's go ahead and dodge these guys, although with three pretty flies, I don't know if I have to. I can basically just stand there and try to take it. There's a half heart and a troll bomb, not either being a key, which is what we so desperately need right now. Um, again, with the fucking fire hoppers, just, like, you, you start off being fire hoppers, like, what the fuck? Give me a chance to blow the fire out before you start coming at me, man. <laughs> this just takes forever. Um, this might not be good for business as far as a speedrun goes, but uh, you would think XL floors would be super nice because, you know, you get rid of two floors at once, but they end up taking a lot of your time in order to get all the resources you need. Uh, don't get sandwiched, don't get sandwiched, cool. And one more, there we go. Give me a key, somebody give me a key, for the love of God. Just, there has to be a key somewhere, don't worry about the fire, just worry about these flies. These flies are all over the place. And we need to systematically execute them without any more issue here. This fly ends up giving us another bomb, so that'll be helpful if we can come across some suspicious secret room locations or top secret room locations. Maybe find ourselves with an eternal heart at the end of this floor. Uh, there goes our second item room, and unfortunately we can't access either of them, and if I don't find some keys soon, I'm a, I might have to hit R and, and, and start this whole, you know, random, or this whole speedrun thing, and I might have had to have, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Secret room might be down here, let's go ahead and take a look, there it is. What do we have? That is the unicorn horn, I'll pick it up so it doesn't show up again. And we'll reroll that bitch, because unfortunately I have no other recourse right now, and we got the one up. The one up is... Okay. I mean, if we can get some more red hearts, that might become more valuable, but for right now, it's just more or less a tease. It's just kind of like, yeah, you might have to live this life out twice, and you don't even like it the first time. Uh, reality, how it <laughs> finds its way into video games sometimes. Take care of these hoppers before they find some fire that I don't even know exists, because that's how it's gone so far, and this uh, tinted rock hopefully has some keys in it, if not uh, some more bombs or things like that. I was trying to lure that troll bomb over here, but it didn't quite work. Oh well. Get away from that fire, you son of a bitch! Okay. Glad to have gotten himself away from the fire. But I walked right into that bleeding hopper. Or that bleeding headless Isaac, anyway. Let's just take care of the rest of these. And there goes our first key, thank god. Um, I want to reroll before we go in there, though. So... I don't even know if it's gonna matter. Uh, let's see if we can't come across our boss room boss rooms quickly and then maybe find ourselves in possession of the crate or something like that just keep moving on is what I'm saying here because it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to access both item rooms oh I take it back we will be able to access both item rooms but I do want to save this reroll for the boss rooms because you never know what they might have uh, if we can find ourselves in possession of a cube of meat or two that would be great, despite the fact that we already have three orbitals. I think it's important to try and get a second level cube of meat. That extra damage does help out quite a bit. 
Let's go ahead and see what's this way. Um, that extra bomb we have may prove useful in opening up that chest. I don't know what's in there, but it could be something great, like another key, or it could be something shitty, like nothing. But it ended up being a key and a bomb, and I will take that all day, er day. Um, all right, that was easy. Just end it all. I don't mind. Uh, you should follow suit. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And we found a dime. Uh, with three keys, that makes something very interesting possible. If we can come across Patent Boy, or if somehow we can scum our way into three extra cents, then we're going to the shop because it's guaranteed that it's not greed. And since shops are going to be so valuable and few for us, having seen an XL floor already, I think it's important that we make the shop a priority in terms of getting a map or a compass or a battery or a 9 volt or even a non tablet. Although I don't want to spend my life re-rolling. I do want the ability to reroll when possible. Okay, and Gemini is being a prick, but thank God for these three protective flies, because without them, I probably would have lost a heart and a half already. Um, let's just see if we can't get him coming this way. There we go. Cool. Get around the rock. Oh, or just cut in front of it. That's cool. Cheat. Cheat all you want. Cheat all you want. I'm trying. To... There we go. Now we can just focus on Gemini's younger, dumber brother. Just get him juggled against the wall. Can I kill him before he gets to me? I don't think I... I don't, uh, maybe. Those flies won't hurt him. If it was a cube of meat, I might have hurt him a little bit. Let's just juggle him in the middle of the room and pick up meat, which is a fantastic pickup for us. Tears up. HP up. It's a damage up of 0.7. I looked this up in an awesome Isaac uh, reference from uh, the UK. It's a website, it's a flash based website. You can click on anything, find out like the coded, um, the actual coded uh, benefits of each item, not just what the text says. So, you know, instead of saying a uh, tears up when it's really a shot speed up, you'll find out exactly what percentage of shot speed up it is uh, and, you know, which um, items do what. Uh, did you know that the pact is only a 0.7 damage up, whereas the mark is a one, a, an entire point of damage up? The thing that makes the mark a little bit more powerful and that people tend to uh, enjoy is that uh, it also it also confers a tears upgrade as well. The pentagram is something that I will take, but I'm I, you know it's funny because I love the pentagram. I okay, let me just rephrase that. I love getting the pentagram as an item. However, I never seem to do as well as I can with it. It's a one point damage upgrade, uh, and it does increase our chances of getting devil rooms. However. Um, I don't seem to do well with it, and I don't know why that is. Let's go ahead and see what's in this uh, item room. Spider butt. Um, obviously, we can't take that, so just looking for money at this point. Let's see what's in here. Da, da, da. What does this reroll into? Uh, lard. Cool. We'll take that. That is an HP upgrade. So HP is not necessarily in in a short up and comings. I couldn't think of the word. It's not in short supply, is what I'm trying to say, but uh, words, they escape me at this time of the night. It's about 10.22 as I'm playing Isaac right now. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, um, and you know what? That is a fine item to pick up. Although we might run into the Bible right now, especially if we walk into the, uh, the shop. I'm going to have to go in just because there might be uh, a sale going on. There isn't, but there is... Uh, a way for me to buy back that key that I just used. Unfortunately, that's the best that I can do. With seven cents, we'll go on to the next floor, at least with a key in hand and a bomb ready to go. Uh, and there's another um, spirit heart I think we could pick up. So six hearts, five spirit hearts. Uh, we're good. We're good right now. I could have gotten the money there, but with only one bomb, it's hard to, you know. That would have been the difference maker, I guess. We would have been walking around with nuns habit. We would have been set... But I think we're in a good position, regardless. I think Nun's Habit would have slowed this run down. I'm just kind of giving excuses to why I don't have Nun's Habit, but I'm glad I don't have Nun's Habit. Nun's Habit usually makes runs go a little bit longer than normal. Alright, so we found ourselves right in front of the item room. Let's go ahead and see what's in it. The Yum Heart will pick it up and put it back down, just to do that, just to say we did it. Come back in here and re-roll that bad boy. <sighs> okay, so... Damage is good. Tears now. We need to focus on tears. Our rate of fire is not good. 
Um, it's, you know, it's starting rate of fire. We need to change that. Okay. Okay. There we go. The push pin. I mean, I'll take it because I don't have anything else, but it gives you a 1 in 10 chance of having a uh, piercing shot. Not really that important. Don't get caught in here. Don't get caught in here. All right. Just shoot these guys. Shot speed really isn't... Uh, hasn't been increased at all, I don't think, throughout the course of this. Is it a piercing tier or a spectral tier? I don't even remember. Let's go ahead and fight our boss. Um, we'll have enough to re-roll a deal with the devil, should we come across one. And I don't see why we shouldn't. I mean, we got the pet. If we don't get a deal with the devil now, I don't know, like, under what circumstances would we, you know? We got the pentagram for crying out loud. The fact, the, 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 the possibility of us losing all of these spirit hearts and then taking red heart damage is just it's absurd so i'm just saying there's no way we should let that happen all right push pin is doing its thing every once in a while but not enough to make a real difference and i want that green nub to start shooting more bombs this way because gertie is spawning a hell of a lot of enemies and that's becoming a problem from a crowd control standpoint uh because i can't keep up with uh, how many there are okay let's not take damage to these fuckers. Okay, cool. If you could shoot a couple more my way, that'd be great. Uh, as you can see, damage isn't awesome, and our rate of fire is kind of the culprit here. Our, our damage is good, it's just the rate of fire is shitty. That's the spirit heart that I will take, most definitely. Take care of you guys. These flies. Okay, and that one extra nub. I will take both deals with the devil should we need to. It's Krampus, though, so I don't even need to reroll. We'll reroll the range upgrade, although I might not want to, because I do have a damage, a range based damage upgrade in the lump of coal right in front of us, so. Chances are this is a pretty good synergy we should hold on to. I should save my reroll for um, the item that we left in the item room, which was the Yum Heart. Hopefully that'll turn into like an all stats upgrade. Or mom's knife, who knows? Turns into mom's knife, we're in good shape. Ooh, okay. Alrighty. Let's not get crazy here, Krampus. You know how this is going down. Let's just let it happen. Alright. You're being a little bit of a prick, sir. And let's not get crazy here. Okay. A few more shots, you should be dead. There we go. There's our lump of coal. And our range upgrade will make this that much more effective. Alright, let's go re-roll the item room. And I think that's all we do right now. I mean, it could explore the rest of the floor, but I think we're pretty good. Uh, Mom's pad. Yeah, nice. Alright, I'm not set as far as items go, so maybe another reroll would be in the cards here. Um, also, the shop needs to be explored. I mean, we do have enough as far as resources go to possibly make the shop worthwhile. We'll have to see. Um, let's move this way. Ooh, there is a demon judgment that must be played. God only knows what he's going to give us. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of there. That is a one-half heart. Guppy's Tail. Thank you very much, good sir. Now, we don't have any keys to make Guppy's Tail worthwhile, but that does bring us one-third of the way to becoming Guppy, and I am always in favor of becoming Guppy, especially if it makes our run that much more fun from a damage standpoint. Because I love doing shit-tons of damage with flies. That's just that's just a good time. I don't, know who, I don't care who you are. There's a regular judgment. Um... He might be important to play. Let's just go ahead and see what else the rest of this floor has to offer us. There is a mob trap room. We will be visiting very shortly because we are low on um, consumables. And right now, I would like to get some before we move anywhere else. Uh, that is a brown chest, so let's go ahead and reroll and then we'll come back. This is veering away from the speed run path of things, and this is more or less turning into a regular, a, re a regular, a regular Isaac run, but that's okay. Why did I just do that? Oh my god, my thumb slipped! That is fucking dumb! Oh, why do they give, uh... My hand's falling asleep. 
because of the way it's laying on the table. And of course, I hit the uh, space bar by accident. So there goes our reroll opportunity. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, here's what we have to hope for in lieu of my stupidity. That there is a bomb and money in this chest. And keys. Like, this has to be the best brown chest we've ever opened in our lives, basically. And it's not. It's just Mom's Pearl. I'll take Mom's Pearl, happily, over the pushpin. But, uh, wow, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I can't believe I hit the space bar by accident. Oh, that is just dumb. That is just stupid of me. All right, no use crying over spilled milk. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of this run, huh? So, I mean, what's to say that was even going to reroll into something awesome? Probably not. Probably going to reroll into, like, Mom's Bra or something like that. And we already got Mom's Pad out of the Um Heart. So who's to say that wouldn't happen again? There goes another brown chest, which gives us a little bit more money. Uh, it's upsetting because now we can't even play the regular judgment because we're out of bombs. But you know what? We do have a guppy's tail to show for our efforts. A range upgrade, lump of coal, and that's about it. But, you know, we have enough money to maybe get a arcade on the next floor. And then possibly even a blood bag. So let's hope for that. We need keys, though. Isla Sue's guy is going to become a pain in the ass. Let's just keep backing up. I would love for some random key drops. That would be where my heart lies right now with this run. Key drops would be all the rage. All the kids are talking about it. Okay, you fucking Rambo over here. There goes a key drop. I'm afraid to go to the shop now only because we're not guaranteed that that won't be greed. And not that I'm trying to rhyme. Hopefully this guy drops a dime. He didn't. Oh well. No big deal. 14 cents is making the shop look ever more tasty. Let's get rid of that fire because I'm paranoid that these guys are going to become impossible to kill. Alright. Let's take care of the spider. This hopper should die in like two shots. And there's the tick. I'm going to stay as far away from you as possible, good sir. Because you are a curse unto man. Okay, you should be dead already, and so should you. There we go, a key for our troubles. This will get rid of the spirit heart, but I do want to see what's inside of here because, you know, one third of the way to becoming guppy and all that good stuff. Unfortunately, no guppy item, but with mom's pearl, I'm not worried about coming into contact with more spirit hearts. I am more worried about finding some goddamn bombs because we're pretty much out of those, and we need them. This run is grinding to a halt without keys and bombs and money and all the things you need in order to have a successful Isaac run. This is just going to be a slow death and I don't want that. I want a victorious ending to this. Alright, there goes something we need a key for. I'm tempted to open it but I'm not going to. Let's just take care of these scrubber guys and we'll see what's inside the mob trap room. I don't think it'll be anything worthwhile but there is the possibility that it is an item altogether, and a good one at that. So let's just see. There goes a bomb. We'll use that to access the brown chest, some money. So now the shop becomes something that I want to look at. Okay, we'll fight the boss after this. And you, sir. These Isla Suze guys. Let's sit between a few of them. There's got to be a blood bank on this floor, and if so, we're playing the shit out of that for obvious reasons. I mean, we've got so much health. We're pretty much baller when it comes to health. All right, shoot some tears this way. That's right, we do have a damage increase the farther we are away, so I should probably use that advantage. Red chest could be an item, or it could just be a spirit heart. I'll take that spirit heart. And do what we can with it. Hopefully we're fighting the Fallen because we haven't had any real deals with the Devil. We're fighting uh, the Bloat, which is a pain in the ass. Or Peep, rather. This isn't the Bloat. The Bloat is Peep's retarded cousin. And I'm not a fan of either of those guys. There goes our Spirit Heart. And a little bit more. These guys are so annoying with the eyeballs. Like, they just block shots all day. That's all they do. Just fuck off. Biggest cock blocks in history. Let's stand over here. Don't get in my way. 
But see, I'm trying to make shots happen. These things are just in my way, no matter where I stand. Okay, just get some hits in there. Alright, okay, yeah, of course you want to stand right in the way. Okay, this should be the end of you if you don't move. There we go. We did not get a deal with the devil, possibly because I took damage, but uh, at any rate, we'll leave that spirit heart there until we come back. Reroll. What do we use it for? Well, we had two things we could use it for. We could use it for the shop, or we could use it for the item room. Let's go ahead and use this bomb, though, because I want to see what's in this chest, and hopefully not get the, uh, the tick. Of course, all that money goes in the opposite side of the tick. Fuck you, game. Okay. Um... Assuming the item room is down this way, you shouldn't even make it to me, but you will because you're a bitch and a prick. Okay, there goes our arcade and there goes our item room. All good things that we were looking for in the end. So, let's make the best of it. I'm hoping we can get an HP upgrade and another speed upgrade. I mean, we're already, we already have the speed upgrade that we wanted, but, uh, you know, another one wouldn't hurt. Uh, the magnet? No thanks. Uh, Mr. Boom... Or Miss Omega, rather. Will definitely help us. He'll aid us in our quest to find secret rooms. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Um, I don't know if I want to play that just yet. I might play it down to half a heart and then come back. Hold on, let me see what else is around the block here. Why did that thing move? Okay. He just, like, skipped out of the way. Let's just see what else is around. More money, more bombs. More money, more bombs, more problems. Fighting against pride here. Okay, I think we're fast enough to get away until they knock bombs into us and then there's nothing we can do. Okay, get away from me. There we go, super pride should be dead. Uh, unless the bombs themselves are blocking for him, which I don't understand. There's a judgment card. A few more hearts to pick up. Okay, now, what to do with this extra key that we have. We could go into the shop. Um, I'm gonna play this until we don't have enough hearts to play it anymore. I'm gonna play it down to like two hearts actually. Because there's a chance that we could get something less than savory. We'll play this a couple times. Maybe some keys pop out. Maybe some more hearts. Need to gamble a little bit though. The Emperor card is interesting. I will definitely take that with me. I'll use the Judgment card in the shop, regardless of we of us fighting greed or not. Ooh, this is interesting too. I could get Mom's Pearl and work on getting as many Spirit Hearts as possible, but there is a possibility of getting a Joker card if I pick up the Ace of Spades and I roll with that for a little bit. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. What to do? Okay, I didn't want to pick that up just yet. Play this down to about 15 cents. Okay, there's another card. What does that do? That's another Temperance, which is interesting. Um, okay. Decisions. Let's go find out what's in our, our shop. Don't accidentally walk into that, you dumb shit. Alright, what do we got in here? It's the Bible. Well, we tried, right? Uh, I'm going to pop this out and then play Judgment until he gives me something that I want. Hopefully, he gives me a compass. Come on, Judgment. Okay, Spirit Heart's cool. I'll roll with that. I'll run with that for a little bit. Okay. Uh-huh. Key. Yeah, I like a key. Um, an HP upgrade. Cool, I guess? Alright, let's go cash out with the blood bank. In fact, I'm going to put two of them right next to each other. See what we can do as far as money goes. Hopefully we won't need any more money for the rest of the game. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, so now we put two temperances right next to each other. And just do this. Cheat the shit out of the game. Because that's what it deserves. Wow, I played that less than the amount of times I wanted to. Alright, the Emperor card. Oh, what to do now? Well, we bomb one of these at least, right? Here we go. Spirit Heart and a Half Red Heart. Let's play this guy. 
played him the most. I guess we're gonna bomb you too. What? Did you just defy physics? What happened? How did you not blow up? I don't know if I want to even waste another bomb. Hold on. Well, the game just gave me another bomb, so maybe I should. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of spirit hearts, though. And there is one left in the boss room. So we should look to invest in that. I'm going to take the Ace of Spades card, because if I can get a deal with the devil, I think we have the HP to make something amazing happen. Okay, I didn't pick it up. Um, last thing I'm going to do, play this bastard until he gives me three more cents. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, now we do have enough resources to look for. Why did I put it down there? Come on. It's weird because the angle at which I'm playing this game, sometimes my hands go numb. And it's no excuse. I understand that, but... That's really what happens, and it's kind of shitty. When my hands go numb, I do weird things, like accidentally hit the space bar because my thumb is numb. Um, I'm not playing this, so you can go suck it. But I will blow it up for the extra two cents so that I get up to 15. Um, now we can make use of grabbing, okay, that money. Don't get the tick, good. Uh, and this golden chest, I guess we'll pop open. That did absolutely nothing for us. Gives a temperance card. Like, what the fuck? Taking the emperor card. Fuck you. I don't even want to see temperance again. Let's see temperance one more time. I'm going to scream. Down in the next floor. Okay, we need keys. I just used our last key. That could have been helpful for us, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Take care of you, take care of the one that has something inside of them, and there we go. Rerolls abound. Now, should kill you, you'll start a chain reaction, or won't you? No, nope, you won't. Might need to double back through here, so we're gonna kill all these guys. Okay. There we go, and for you. Cool. So what do we got here? More red hearts. I'm down with that. Um, I would be down with the idea of walking that curse room right now, but health being what it is, let's hold off on that until later. Okay, you need to stop taking damage right now. Otherwise, this run might not last too much longer. Okay, what do we got in this pill? This pill could be great. Uh, it's just a luck up. Just a luck up. No need to get all crazy on me, but it could have been cool. But liquors. I'm telling you, a tears up would make us untouchable right now. A tears up pill would be like unbelievable. Okay, why'd you have to walk right into me? Brother, brother, why'd you have to walk right into me? Uh, my health situation is a little disconcerting. I do need some health badly. The hanging man could be useful. Could be useful to take only half a heart of damage coming out of that curse room, but it also could be useful to access some items and things that we couldn't get normally. Um, we have a mini boss fight? What is this? Why does he have a health bar? I don't understand. Alright, so apparently we're fighting against um, the mini boss here, but didn't say that on the map. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not here to judge. Bomb flies should make everything a lot easier. We are bound to run into some uh, masks of the infamy. I don't want to speak it into existence, but I mean, it is a possibility that we're on Necropolis One and might run into some masks. There is more, unfucking real, of uh, not Teratoma. Uh, I, I hate it when I can't think of enemies' names. It makes me feel like a dope. I've only played this for like 400 hours. Should know everything about this game, right? Okay, just walked over the spikes on my own volition. Thank you so much, game, for scaring me into doing that. Change these things into maggots. Uh, bro, 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 do you even Isaac right now? Like, come on. Let's just kill the rest of these things. Maggots. Spikes don't hurt them. That's crazy. All right, there's a bomb in there that I'm not willing to get. Okay, let's kill these things before they become an issue. All right, that kind of worked out a little bit. Okay, 
kill these grandfather flies would be awesome. Okay, there we go. Now I feel like I can breathe a little bit. Not a whole bunch, but just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Kill the bomb fly. Alright, the bomb fly doesn't want to die. There we go, just walk out. There we go. And walk back in. Keys, nowhere to be found. This is unfortunate. A little worrisome, too. Alright, this red chest could be something great. Like a guppy item. For instance, guppy's paw. Because I would totally cash out with guppy's paw. Or, ooh, the Joker card. Hells to the air. Uh... Alright, so now what we do is we hold on to the Joker card. And we go and fight the boss. And if we don't earn one outright, we go ahead and just pop that motherfucker. Alright, these things bother the shit out of me. Because they always manage to throw one right at you. And you can't get out of the way. Like, like that. How did you know like, I'd be going that way? I'm not even in your neighborhood, bro. All right, one of you has to die. There we go. Open the room up a little bit for me. There we go. A little bit more. Cool. What do we have here? Some money. And we also have a key. Let's go fight the boss, though. Boss is my worst fear. Okay. So we are definitely fighting against the worst boss we could possibly get. And considering I don't have any piercing shots, I'm starting to wish maybe... I had held on to the pushpin. And I never thought I'd say that to myself. But the pushpin might have been the way to go on this particular fight. Um, yeah, this is the worst in terms of what we could be fighting. I would love Brimstone right now. Mom's Knife would have made this like a joke. Child's Play. But unfortunately, we don't have those items. I don't know. What do I do? Do I kick a bomb in at him? I think so, right? Uh, just try to, at least. Or not. Dude, you... Like, the most annoying boss. Just fucking die. Stop changing direction, you jackass. Take damage. Fucker. He has way too much health, man. Way too much. Oh, man. I think what I do now is if I get hit one more time, I just pop the Joker card and see if I can't get Brimstone. Because this is tedious, to say the least. Plus, if we take another Red Heart damage, I don't think we'd get a deal with the Devil outright. We've lost our Spirit Hearts completely. I don't want to kick any more bombs at him because it would just be a waste. We've got three bombs left. Rat bastard, just fucking take it in the ass already. Mm. Look at oh my god, I this talk about killing a speed run. This has gone from a speed run to a just get me through it run. Getting the mask of infamy is the one thing that'll kill your speed run hopes. If you don't have one of those carry items, like mom's knife. Brimstone, Guppy, um, Polythemus, or just piercing shots in general. Kiss, kiss your speedrun goodbye. Because there is just no way. Oh my god, I've done everything I fucking can. Just die. For the love of Christ. Heaven and hell, just go away. Way too fucking resilient. How do you? Ugh. Yep, popping it. Eat a dick, stupid bastard. All right. Well, we take this. We can't pick this up. And even if I re-roll it, I can't pick it up. So there goes that idea. Item room has Harlequin Baby. Harlequin Baby actually does pretty good damage. I'm going to re-roll that into my best friend, and that's my biggest mistake. Because I would have rathered my best uh, Harlequin baby instead of my best friend. But you know what? Gift Taurus looked him right in the mouth and said, You ain't shit, and then he spit on me. Alright, so now, at least now, we have a little bit of a tears advantage. More damage. We're going to have to fight that motherfucker again, but we do have two spirit hearts to kind of stave off 
uh, his advances, and maybe if we find another spirit heart and we get to deal with the devil, we can get Guppy's paw, re-roll it, and then, you know, unspeakably good things will come our way. But that's, those are a lot of ifs. So that's like a nested if right there. Those are like five nested ifs with each other. That pill is another pretty fly, so I'm not even going to bother picking it up. Let's get out of here. Okay. So with two, two thirds of a charge in my... D6, I think what we do is pick this bomb up, hopefully not take damage. We didn't, thank God. And now we get the Emperor card and just continue as planned. Alright, so here's what we have to hope for. This room, nope, it didn't. We have to hope that we can kill this bastard without any sort of problems. Yep, and it's still the uh, Mask of Infamy, unfortunately. Hope we gotta kill this motherfucker without any issues. And then on top of that, that he drops a spirit heart when we're done with them. Okay, so there's a lot of ifs here. I'll be I'll be honest. On top of getting it earning a deal with the devil. Which won't happen. A lot of ifs. Not gonna lie. Welcome to Hell Part 2. Oh boy. You're just. I hope you die a thousand deaths. How did that not kill you? I don't understand how I'm not damaging him. Like hitting him from the side at least. There we go. Finally. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Hug the wall. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Oh. It almost worked out, guys. It almost worked out. Yeah, we can't pick that up. Damn. All right, well, at least we gave it a fair shot. I'm not worried about time anymore. Let's just go into the curse room and see what that has. Hopefully it's something awesome. Like a guppy item that we can pick up, put down, and then reroll. Nope, just spiders. Okay, the reroll will go to the item room. Uh, no bombs to speak of, so now we can't look for the secret room. Skeleton key would have been awesome. Uh, TNT, or no, Kamikaze. I could use Kamikaze to look for the secret room. Alright, now how does this work again? I think I hold the direction. Nope, that's not how it works. We're fighting greed anyway, so who cares? Alright, greed, you better drop something. Like money. No, not money. I was talking about like an item. Keys would have been cool. Two bombs. I can dig that. The Empress. Not better than the Emperor. Sorry. Alright, D6 me. Now the question becomes how fast can we beat the rest of the game? We are one item away, I think, from making this untouchable. We get Brimstone, we get Mob's Knife, we get a Flying Item, I think we're good. We get Polythemus, I think we're good. Polythemus with a Flying, oh, actually, Polythemus would kind of put us back, set us back a little bit. I think we need Polythemus with like Tears Up pills or something like that. Okay, there goes the Blast Assist. Keys, man. Come on. Stop doing this to me. Game? Knock it off. More of the same. Let's go. hey -o. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come at me. Let's get it. Come on. Yo. Andale. Andale. A little bit more. They should be dead. Cool. What do we have over to the right? Bomb flies. Bomb flies? Well, you don't say. That's a horse of a different color, isn't it? Uh, stop dodging everything? Thank you very much. Red chest, please give me Guppy's Paw. Or two troll bombs. Down with that. Totally down with that. Not really. Hey, I remember this room. We did it two rooms ago. It's like I'm reliving the classics. Thanks, game. Would you just die? Take all the damage in the world and just respawn. 
Okay. Ooh, that pill could be interesting. Let's hope it's good. This pill. What is it? Speed down. Not the end of the world. We did pick up a few speed ups. So, actually just one, but still. Alright, that golden chest is a joke. We can't use it or make use of it. Crack it open. That key is phenomenal. Item room. What do you got for me? Please be something amazing. Now, how much money do you want to bet if we went into the shop? Greed to be in there. It'd be super greed. No, it wouldn't be greed. It'd be super greed. Game kid. So we never see you again. Rainbow baby, sure. Why not? I gave up on Harlequin Baby. I shouldn't give up on Rainbow Baby. Rainbow Baby is actually a pretty good pickup. Slow some enemies down. Possibly do some more damage. You know. Sister Maggie shots. They do five damage instead of uh, three and a half. Three and a half is like starting Isaac damage. Five is a little bit better. It's like a damage up or two. And I think Harlequin Baby. Or yeah, Harlequin Baby shoots in a V. So he shoots. He does five altogether. Okay. Let's... Just put this in perspective. Okay, you know you're all gonna die, so don't get delusions of grandeur and think that you're going to save the day, because you're not. Because you're not. Okay, that key could persuade me to go into the shop. I'm not 100% sure yet. Can't get that, so... Shop it is. Bah. Let's just see if this is the secret room, because if it is... I'm not wasting a key. It's not, though. Alright. Thinking ahead, where could Mom's fight be? The coin purse? Uh, nah, not really. God damn it. That was worth a shot. Let's pick up this heart, just because. Five available HP does not make me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Let's see if this is the secret room. It isn't. Let's see what's over here in these an antillary rooms. Okay. Take care of this popcorn guy. This popcorn guy should go down much quicker. And this popcorn guy should also feel my wrath. There's a dildo in the ground. You see that? There goes another dildo. Alright. What do we got over here? Downward. Downward ho! Alright. Come on, Larry Jr. You're not meant for this world. You're not long for this world. Okay, there goes a spirit heart and a key. I will definitely cash this in, play this down to about half a heart to get the blood bag. Rock that a couple times. Play this a few times. And we'll see what's, what's what when we can reroll that IV bag. It would be awesome if I could get Skatol in here and make this a double item room. That'd be sweet. Okay, two hearts. I'm down with that. This down 30 cents. More hearts. Cool. Alright, so. Get rid of two hearts this way. Pick all this stuff up. Pretty much brings us back to where we were, as far as money goes, but at least we have one bomb and three keys to speak of now. Spirit Heart will take, just because I don't feel like backtracking. And we'll take care of these Leapers, hopefully without taking damage. I mean, that's the idea. Alright. There goes the Spirit Heart. It was nice when we once knew you. Stop dodging everything. You're pissing me off with that ninja bullshit. There goes another key. So we have four keys now. It's gonna make the, the chest interesting if we get down that far. <laughs> I don't know. If I can hold on to the Emperor card long enough to get to uh, the Cathedral, we might have something on our case. And now we have Skeleton Keys. So no longer are our keys a, a point of concern, or at least the number of keys. Now we can open up pretty much whatever we want with Guppy's, uh, Guppy's tail. That should be amazing. Start getting some damage, speed upgrades, HP upgrades by way of the golden chests. If they'd be so kind as to show up a little bit more often. This pill, we don't know what it does. It's a bad trip pill. Should have seen that coming. 
We have one luck up. That's not a bunch of luck ups. Does luck up work in the same way as uh, luck foot and all that stuff? I don't even know. All right. So now we need to work on... Uh, I don't know if I want the matchstick. If I get the matchstick, we, well, for a couple of rooms, we might get some bomb drops. That'd be cool, right? I want to see what's in this golden chest now that we can open it. Worry free. HP upgrade. Thank you very much. Let's see what's over here to the right. There's our boss room. And we also have one more room yet to explore. So I guess I'll explore that before I go into the boss room. So let's see what's in here. Nothing, just more re-roll fodder. Maybe we get a bomb drop or something like that. That'd be cool. Or a player card drop. Tarot card. Nothing. Alright. Fair enough. Secret room. Are you over here? You're not. I've just been terrible with secret rooms. The only ones I found... Well, it gave me the one up, but then the other one was screed. Does that balance out? I don't know. I don't think it does. Regular mom, vanilla mom. Not really worried about this fight. Okay. How the fuck did you hit me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Just stay out of harm's way. This fight should be over pretty soon. I could just stay right in dead center. Stay open, stay open. Oh, I thought I could have killed her right now. Got a nine tails, turns into stem cells. So we have ourselves another HP upgrade, and now we take the Polaroid and say goodbye to the Ace of Spades. Down on the next floor. Okay, it's real tempting to pop that Emperor card and hurry things up, but I want to keep it until we have to go fight Isaac. Um, and not that I don't feel 100% sure about the win, but if we can... I would honestly trade out the Book of Belial. I can't get that. The Book of Belial for the D6, because I think we're not going to be doing crazy damage. Okay, I need to get out of the way there need to start finding ways to make those trades happen. Alright, now we can pick up that spirit heart. Hopefully this is a golden... Or a, a, what I was trying to say was, there's a tinted rock amongst those four rocks. There was not. Come on, Diglets. Come at me, bros. Come on. Eat a dick. Eat a Diglet. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, that is another bad trip pill. But I will hold... No, I can't hold on to that because there's an Emperor card to be taken. Um, okay, interesting doings here. Can't really do much about it, but uh, interesting doings. Let's take care of these bloody things up here first. And then we'll have Isaac walk on the spikes. Enjoy that, asshole. Sue's guys. Got to take care of these brains so they stop producing creep. We get to take care of the Isla Sue's guys, too. We can do that. Um, Tammy's head. But we'll turn into Mini Mush. Speed and range up? Sure, why not? We could use the speed up. We got to speed down earlier. The range up is more or less why I took that, but, uh, you know, speed's not going to damage us. Alright, Gertie Jr., stay out of my field of view. You just stay over there, buddy. Yeah, that's cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh-huh. Don't you dare come over here. It will not be, it would not behoove you to get this close. Okay, more good stuff. Picking up half red hearts. I'm a big fan of it. Per put us in per permanent Polaroid invincibility state should we come down to that spot, but I don't think we're going to get there hope we don't get there. Jesus, that would be a pretty big disappointment. This extra scent. 
Only if money equals power comes out of nowhere. Comes out of my ass. Would we make use of that? There goes our boss room. We haven't gotten a cube of meat, so the only thing I would hope is that it's not a horseman. If it's a horseman, I'm going to be very upset. We already have full orbitals here. No way for us to get... I didn't want to pick that up. No way for us to get a second level cube of meat, which is what I always, always like to shoot for. Teratoma? Hopefully not that much of a fight here. Let's just fire these guys up. I would like to see you die without any problems. Okay, that half red heart is exquisite. What? what? Look at this guy dodging everything like it's the fucking Matrix. Alright, we end up getting the coin purse. I don't know what these pills do. Okay, that's a luck down pill. You know what? I do want luck down. Luck down all day, er day. Because that'll give us more golden keys. Or golden chests, rather. Um... Yeah, those aren't worth picking up, so down to the next floor. I think it would be a big mistake to play this blood bank. Only because we have no way of getting full health again. And we have no spirit hearts either. So, I'm not down for that transaction to happen. Alright, okay, what do we do here? I think we just kick a bomb over at him. There we go. Bomb for a bomb. Eye for an eye. And the whole world goes blind. Yes? Maybe. I would like to tell you something, Mr. Brain. You actually look like intestines. You don't really look like a brain. Although you have a mouth. Another key. Not that it matters. We have such a large collection as it is. Uh, this is a room I wish I wasn't in. I'm gonna go ahead and say that out loud. Speak that into the atmosphere. I wish I wasn't in this room. Okay, there goes one. Let's have a race. Let's see who's faster. I think we're pretty close as far as speed goes there, Mask. Alright, let's not get crazy here. Alright, what, 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 what are you doing? Stop harassing me. This heart is like the Neo of... The womb. Dodging everything that I do to him. Gertie Jr. needs to keep his distance. As the last time. This is going to make this fight go a lot faster. Just freeze, would you? Wow, you should be dead. There we go. What's up this way? Not what I wanted to see. I was hoping to find Mom. At least her heart. That did not happen. Okay, Isaac, you need to calm down with those bullets right now, because you're kind of making me feel some type of way. Alright, those guys are pretty much dead. Kick another bomb into... Okay, I just waited too long there. Golden chest holds! More bombs, hearts, and money. I'd really just like to see, like fate come out of a golden chest. That would make me feel super confident about the rest of this run. Because at least if we had flying, that we wouldn't have to worry about using bombs for things, and the uh, well, key to do that wouldn't be the end of the world. Flying would make it so that we wouldn't get damaged on so much crap, and I just don't feel... Like, we're, we're pretty strong. We're not strong enough to start clearing out rooms in an instant. We're not that strong. But we can handle our own if we focus our fire. What do we have here? More awesome consumables. Alright, I do not want to be in this room either. I want to be somewhere else. Finding the mom fight. Fighting the good fight against mother. Alright, please let it be. Uh, hoping for a tinted rock. Small rock would be a fantastic pickup right now. Okay, versus two gluttonies, eh? This could be good, this could be bad. Alright, I'm just hoping one of you dies quickly. So that I can move on with my life. And fight mom and end hers. Let's try to stand back. Blast you. 
one red heart should be okay, but you're gonna make me pick up that other half heart. Fighting against Envy now. Double Envies. Cool, cool, not really, but yeah, okay. Just stay over there, stay over there. I'm like, it's like a hose. I'm giving you the D louse. Okay? Throw my tears over there like a hose. Okay. I was hoping you didn't come over here. I told you not to come over here, but you didn't listen. And now we have an issue. There's too many of the damn heads now. Alright, there we go. Rainbow baby, I need you to start picking it up. Gotta start putting some overtime in. Taking the work home with you. Come on, what do you say? Alrighty. And there we go, an eternal heart. That's interesting. I'm going to leave that there for right now. Oh, uh, what does that pill do? Pill do anything important? I think it's a tears or a, a luck down pill, to be honest. I'll check it before we leave, but uh, that eternal heart could be. It's not going to be the difference between life and death here, but uh, if I can hold on to it, that'd be nice to have an extra little slot for health. Slut for health. Uh, what is this? Luck up. I honestly don't want the luck up. So, out we go. Let's see if we can not take damage during the mom fight. That'd be super. Oh, might take damage. Might take damage. Might take damage. Might take damage. Why not take damage? Okay. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on. The farther we stand away, the better. Blow up! Ah. Uh, I was hoping. Come on. There we go. We gotta time it just right. All oh, those laser beetles. Alright, she's in her permanent bomb throwing stage, so this should be good for us. Good for business. Just die. Alright, she's almost dead. Just don't get hit by a stray bullet, and we'll keep that spirit heart. Cool. Or that eternal heart. Nice. Wait for that creep to go away, and there we go. And do we have any mapping? Not really. Let's just walk into this room and see if it's even worthwhile. Um, just a bunch of fires, so I guess I'll just shoot them all. I'm gonna find a golden chest or something. First time we come into a room I don't like, I'm out. I'm out! I'm Emperor the fuck out! There's a golden chest, and nothing of value. Alright. Well, bombs, but I mean... Okay, that's enough of that. It was worth the shot, but you know what? Just didn't work out in the end. Alright, now it's time to shoot as many tears into Isaac as humanly possible. And with three orbitals, we should be okay just standing here, but I have been proven wrong before. Alright, get to your second phase already. I would love it if we could start slowing him down a little bit, but it seems Rainbow Baby hasn't gotten to that part of his uh, agenda yet. Or puberty, or whatever you want to call it. Cycle through that specific ammunition. <laughs> Seems to be all out of black bullets. Got plenty of the red ones, don't you? All out of black ones, though. Wow, that homing bullet should have gotten us, but it didn't. That one got us. That one's probably going to get us. It would have gotten us if it weren't for that little bit of inv invulnerability that we had. I want to put a bomb down. I can't get close enough, though. The lights from heaven, they're everywhere. Oh, God. Okay. These angel fetuses are the worst. Um... A few more shots should do it. Uh, another bomb. There's no reason we should die here, but these angel fetuses are problematic. They're not dying fast enough, and that bothers me quite a bit. Alright, here we go. Down to the chest. Big plays. Come on. Show me what you got. The quarter. Uh, Book of Shadows. Doctor's Remote, and... Homing bombs. Alright, we're good on money. 
Book of Shadows could help us out, but I don't think not uh, not enough to, to really make a difference. Um, I like the defense, so I'm not going to give that up for Sacrificial Dagger. If we were rolling on Spirit Hearts, I'd say, yep, all the way, man, but unfortunately, we're not. So we can't just run up on Blue Baby and make him our bitch that way. Alright, this little Monstro 2 is the bane of my existence. But because Monstro 2 is so goddamn tanky, we have to put up with him for a little bit. So many bullets everywhere. So many bullets. Okay, alright, let's calm down. Chill, bro, chill. Chill. That's all I could say. Relax. It ain't that serious. Okay. You wanna be a problem, or do you wanna be the solution? Problem or solution? You tell me. Because I am the solution, if you know what I mean. Alright, health is getting depleted pretty quickly, and that bothers me, but we do have a one-up, so... At least we'll come back to life, but I don't want to waste it right now. I really do want to get through this room and hopefully never see another one like it because we're not fucking strong enough to take care of these guys quickly. All right, we're already on a half red heart here. One of you should die, like today. You shouldn't be living past what you're doing right now. There goes one. And the other one should be dead as well. Like, there's a rule in video games. If your health bar is depleted, you die. Dead bird, not worth it. Spirit heart might make the difference between getting a reroll charge and not. I don't know. Fighting against two chubs. Shouldn't be too bad. We're out of bombs, though. Bombs would have made the difference. Okay. I think an all stats upgrade is in order. Polythemus, Mom's Knife. Those are definitely in order. We've we've been very good Isaacs. Isaac boys here. Been very good. Okay, let's don't don't go bringing inviting everybody to the party, alright? This is a this is a black tie event. Invitations only. What do we have in here? Blood rites! That's exactly the thing that'll turn this run around. Not? Okay. As if it weren't bad enough that I had to fight Double Chub, now I gotta fight Double Carrying Queen. It's like the game is up in the ante when it comes to shittiness of bosses. I might die here. There's a lot of AIDS poop. And they are not taking nearly enough damage, and I don't have any bombs. This is shitty. Pun intended. Really red and shitty. Okay, how did I navigate that? Explain that to me. I just want to get as far away from them as possible and fire some shots and I couldn't get in between the two of them. Alright, let's go somewhere else because the game doesn't like us that way. I'll take that bird though. Anything to help me out a little bit. Okay, double fast chub. I see, I see what the theme of this uh, boss fight is. This whole chest. Things that are fast and annoying. Yep. I see where you're going with this game. Keep getting farther away. Keep getting farther away. Get showered by my red, awesome, lumpy tears. Oh, fuck. A little bit more to do it. You should be dead. Should have been dead in like, oh wait, still alive. Okay, there goes a reroll charge. Mom's pills could give us another pretty flat bottle. Whatever, let's go ahead and see what we get out of these four. Polly, we get a damage upgrade and a health upgrade. We get Spelunker's hat and Crack the Sky. Spelunker's hat's gonna tell us where the secret and top secret rooms are. I know what you're thinking. Could have kept that and re-rolled it. Okay, double Monstro 2. Double fast Monstro 2. But let's see how we do with Polythemus. Now in our grasp. 
Come on, Polly. Make the difference. Make the difference. Dead bird, make the difference. Come on, Polly. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a monstro too dead? I do. Alright, maybe this will help with the crowd control a little bit. It's going a lot better than it did last time. I'll say that much. We're just not killing them quick enough, in my opinion. In my opine. There's laser beetles everywhere. It's just bullet hell. We still need some help here. I need a mom's knife, man. I need it. I want it. Okay, what do we got here? Peeper's eye? Fuck it. Why not? The more the merrier at this point. AIDS poop? Not going in that room. Um, kind of don't want to go in that room either, but I think I'm fast enough to get by him. Oh, you thought I was going that way. You thought I was, but I wasn't. Okay, the bloat. As if this couldn't, this day couldn't get any worse. Now I gotta worry about you. And I'm not flying, so the creep actually something to concern me. Get him, dead bird. Get him, dead bird. Okay. Come on. Just enough of this nonsense. Just die already. You should not be alive. Look at that. Just takes Polythemus to the fucking face. Oh, my goodness. And now we're down to uh, and another one. You want to see me get pissed off? Give me two bloats back to back. Thanks a lot, game. You're a fucking gem. Oh my goodness. How does- why does the game do this? Haven't I done enough? Haven't I done what you've asked of me? Don't die yet. Don't die yet. Okay, good. Reroll. Let's see. Let's reroll mom's bottle of pills. Haven't I done what you've asked? Oh, x-ray goggles. Yay, x-ray. Now we can go right into that room without having to worry about using a bomb. What do we got in here? The onk would have been great, but no such ruck. Secret room or no secret room. The onk would have saved us. I don't think I'm beating Blue Baby on a half heart, dude. I don't think it's happening. And my money's on the fact that Blue Baby is off to the right, not beneath us. Let's kill Pestilence first, because it's easier. Shoot some shots in here. That should do it. Come on, few more. Oh my god, just die, there we go. Death. You're next. I hope you like getting shit on, because that's gonna happen. Come on, come on. Don't get all cute here. Okay. There go your zombies. Oh, for the love of fucking Christ. Of course, when I have Polythemus. And my shot speed is very slow. You've got to give me two enemies. Um, do I take this now? I think I do. Fuck the damage. Damage. Yep, there we go. All right. It was worth. It was worth noting that this is the third time I've had to fight the bloat. All right. Well, it was a close run. If you liked the run, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, or share on your favorite social media platform. It's been Fuzzy Motion and YouTube. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. To the bye. Bye.